Today, we still need to understand the beginnings of humanity fully, because we still have a lot to learn about those before us and how the world started. Therefore, Israeli archaeologists' finding of some old bones in the earth raised quite some noise. These remains revealed the mystery of our past. In addition, there may be anything that we are unaware of. Well, don't worry. Everything is explained in this video. So make sure to complete the video at the end. Then, let's get going. A global group of researchers has found a crucial link in the history of humanity's evolution. A skull has been found during investigations at the Israeli settlement of Nesher Ramla that could represent a late survivor of a separate Homo species that existed within and around present-day Israel from around 420,000 to 120,000 years ago. Two related studies by Israel Hershkovitz, Yossi Zaidner, and co-workers, published in Science, described how this ancient human civilization shared genetic and cultural traits with other Homo sapiens populations for tens of thousands of years. The individual to who it belonged hadn't been entirely an H. sapiens, according to a study of fragments of a skull dating from 140,000 to 120,000 years ago, comprising a right temporal and a nearly complete jaw. They weren't Neanderthals either, the only other group of people considered to have been present in the area at that time. Rather, this person belongs to a distinct group of Homo that has never previously been recognized by science. The investigators discovered that the parietal bone exhibited archaic features that are significantly distinct among early and contemporary H. sapiens after careful examination of numerous other ancient human heads. The skeletal system is also significantly thicker than that of Neanderthals and the majority of early H. sapiens. The jaw also has ancient characteristics, although it also has Neanderthal-like structures. Collectively, the bones show a distinctive mix of archaic and Neanderthal characteristics that set them apart from each other early age sapiens and subsequent Neanderthals. So the current issue is, are these people growing in number? The answer will be fascinating, I'm sure. According to their earlier Neanderthal or H. sapiens designation, the authors propose that fossils discovered at other Israeli locations, such as the well-known Lady of Tabun, may also be an integral component of this new modern group. The Lady of Teban, Taban C1, was founded in 1932 by renowned researchers Yusra and Dorothy Garrett, who served as her field supervisor. This re-examination could clarify several discrepancies in their morphology, previously recognized by experts, if Taban C1 and other individuals from the Kesem and Zatia mines were really representatives of the Nasher Ramel Homo group. Perhaps our most recently shared grandparent with Neanderthals may be represented by the enigmatic Nasher Ramel Homo. Because of the mixture of features seen in it, the early transmission of genes approximately H. sapiens and Neanderthals took place sometime between 400,000 and 200 million years ago, according to genetic data. In other words, crossbreeding amongst all of the different populations of Homo was more frequent than originally believed. The crew also discovered an accumulation of almost 6,000 stone implements at the Nesher Ramla site, which is even more confusing. The closeness between these instruments and contemporary H. sapiens innovation is so great that the Nesher Ramla Homo and H. sapien species frequently socialize together. It appears that they were also sharing advice on how to make tools in addition to DNA. The location also generated animal bones that had been caught, slaughtered, and consumed there. According to these discoveries, Nesher Ranla Homo slaughtered various animals, notably tortoises, gazelles, aurochs, boars, and ostriches. In addition, the discovery of a fire feature that is the same age as the bone suggests that they were cooking their food with fire. The Nesher Ramla Homo actively operated their fires, just like humans do now, in addition to gathering wood for fires in camps and cooking. The Nesher Ramla inhabitants appear to have treated their campfire with the same level of care as modern H. sapiens and Neanderthals did with their own fires, even though the oldest evidence of regulated use of fire is far older, possibly one million years ago. 
The campfire features long-term survival without a cave's protective atmosphere is what is most remarkable. The campfire is currently the oldest one discovered in the open. In conclusion, if we imagine the history of human development as an incomplete IKEA bookshelf, the discovery is akin to discovering the absence of a shelf at the bottom of the container. The recently released Nesher Rambla Homo makes it possible for a better fitting construction, but a few puzzling extra elements still need to be explained. For instance, how did the various Homo species communicate with one another? What does it indicate for the sociocultural and biological alterations that Homo communities were going through at the time? We will be able to comprehend the history of humanity more fully if we continue to deal with these inquiries. However, what do you think of this? In the comments section, please let us know. Please hit like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel for additional interesting material. Until the next video, take care.